Hey, what's going guys? My name is Sam. I'm back with another video and today I'll be showing you guys exactly how to get scriptware. So yeah, let's get right into it. So first what you want to do is you want to go, go over to the scriptware website. It's script-ware.com. So yeah, once you're here, as you can see here is the website. It's a very nice website actually. And yeah, you can check out everything here. And yeah, um... Pretty much it's what the UI looks like and it looks all very cool. So yeah, let's actually get into purchasing it. So first what you want to do is you want to hit the purchase button. Then you will come over here. Now we have scriptware or you can even get it for Mac. So I'm going to be in for Windows because obviously I have Windows. So I'm going to click on... Oh, sorry, I did not mean to click on Learn More, I mean Purchase. And then I'm going to click on Windows. And then I'm going to Continue. Now, once we are here, as you can see, today's purchase, it is $20. And it is a one-time payment, which is good. And there's also instant access and a money-back money guarantee. So, yeah, um, I will be checking out with PayPal so yeah let us just press PayPal and I'll be back once I have done this okay so it seems I could not um, use PayPal so I will have to use credit or debit card so let's click on there and then it will take us to the checkout and you pretty much just want to fill this in so now you can pretty much register with whatever you want so I'm gonna register and I'll be back Alright, so once you have registered, then it will bring you here, and you can then obviously sign in. So I'm going to do that now, and then I'm going to press I'm not a human. And once you've done that, you can select everything containing a truck. Well, you'll probably have something else, but I have to do everything containing a truck, and then you're just going to hit check. Then you want to press login, and as you can see, we have um, the actual website once you have logged in and stuff. So I'm actually going to save this just because why not. And I'm going to press download Windows installer. Once you've pressed that you should see the scriptware installer on the bottom left. And you just want to click on that. As you can see it is a very nice UI. So we're just going to select our language. I'm going to select English and hit continue. Then um, we're just going to continue. And you, now you want to choose where you want to save it. I'm going to save it to my D drive over here. And um, yeah, we're just going to make a new folder and title this Roblox and hit enter. And then select folder and continue. Now, as you can see, it will start downloading everything. So yeah, it will download everything like this. Okay, so as you can see, it requires um like microsoft edge so yeah it's going to um, download that and then it will carry on downloading scriptware i'll be back once it is downloaded okay so i was almost finished installing it but as you can see it has shown this so i'm just going to hit ok and we can go back to the downloads and open this up again now let's just reinstall this. Okay, so that seemed to fix it, but if it still happens to you and it still says that, you might want to try turning off your antivirus. Anyways, let us put in our email again and our password, and I'll be back once we've done that. Once you have logged in, it should look like this, and you just want to hit get started. So as you can see, this is what it looks like, and as you can see, this is actually a really cool UI. I very much like this, and we can even add friends, which is really cool. Sadly, I don't have any friends that use scriptware, so yeah, let's just close that and close this. I really like the add friends feature, though. So let's see, we have this, and we can like close this. I'm going to make it a bit bigger, and it looks very nice, um, but let's check out the features, and let's open up a Roblox game. Um, let's check everything out. I do not think the script works, so I'm just going to try, um, print, uh, hello world. So, yeah, obviously, why not? And then if I hit execute, 
then it should have printed. Let's see. Uh, if I, oh, wait, F9. Yeah, there we go. Or, okay, why? Okay, there is a lot of things happening, but, um. Hold up. Why does this not work? Oh, there we go. Okay, it does. So, yeah, as you can see, it is printing. So, it does actually work. So, yeah, as you can see, um, Scriptway does actually work. But let's check out the other features. So, now we also have Homepage. So, yeah, obviously, Homepage. And, yeah, we have all these things that we can check. Welcome Home. Yep, pretty much that. Then we have the Script Center. You have no script. It appears like you have not added any scripts yet. So... We can click on there, and as you can see, it brings us here, and we can add scripts, which is actually pretty cool. So let's see FE um, wing script. So let's press add script, and if we go back here, um, if we press personal, um, I don't know how this works actually. I think we might have to rejoin the game, or no, not rejoin the game, like reopen scriptware but let's just see obviously we have this and here we have decompile scripts which is pretty cool save null instances save players i'm going to turn that off and then yeah saved game name um yeah so let's just see okay let's just save the game and yeah let's check it out because uh, i mean yeah, I haven't really saved anything with this. Actually, this is my first time even using Scriptware. So yeah, as you can see, that was very fast. I have to say, that's probably the fastest it's ever saved before. But yeah, let us check out the saved game. So yeah, as you can see, if we go here, um, then we can go to our workspace. Oh wait, no, the Synapse workspace. Let's go to Roblox and then Workspace. And yeah, as you can see, here is saved game, and that does not work, obviously, because, yeah, I don't I don't know why. But let's just open up Roblox Studio, and uh, let, let's let's try it out, so, uh, Roblox Studio over here. Wait, can we not just open with Roblox Studio? If I hover over open with, nope. Wait, choose another app, let's try. Okay, no, that does not work. Anyway, is Roblox Studio going to open? Uh, I don't know, maybe. I'll be back once I've opened Roblox Studio. Alright guys, so now we're here. I also found out how to get this to work. You just want to press this over here, and it will reload everything. And yeah, as you can see, you can find exactly what you're looking for. Anyways, um, let us actually try out the game and check it out. So if we go here, let's drag this into here. And yeah, maybe I will actually use Scriptware to replace Synapse, because... Yeah, as you can see, it can do pretty much everything that Synapse can. And yeah, as you can see, it is working fine. Um, We're actually, like, in the game. And I don't know why I can't move around. I think, yeah, I don't think that is um the actual game. This is actually just um Roblox Studio. Yeah, as you can see, Roblox Studio is not responding. Okay, there we go. So yeah, as you can see, we've got everything in here. There is even, like, all the UIs, everything like that. And if we hit play, um, it should not have any in-game scripts because, yeah, we, yeah, um, I can't copy that. But not even signups can copy it, so don't blame it whatsoever. And, yeah, as you can see, we have all the GUIs, so that's pretty much it. And let's just check out everything else. So, yeah, we have this, so we can add friends and stuff. And then we have whatever this is. I have no idea what this is. But anyway, let's close that. And then we also have settings. So unlock FPS. I shall put that in. Um, zero, meaning I'm limited. So let's just keep it like that. Uh, make script where sit above on top of other programs. I'll keep that off. Auto attach. Yeah, sure. Why not? And then... Um, Minimize to application. Actually, I'm going to turn auto attach off just because synapse. Yeah. Uh, page to show on launch. Um, let's just do. Yeah, let's do um execution center. Why not? 
and then use attach button, enable and attach button. Yeah, I'm going to keep that off because I kind of like it so that I don't have to attach it to anything. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So we have like hide script list, um, hide open file button. Yeah, so we have all of these hide buttons. And then we also have highlighting, so warmlet, all of that cool stuff. So let's just choose a random thing here. Create local script. Um, use core script, so execute it. Okay, I have no idea what that is, but let's just turn that on. Enable marketplace functions. Um, yeah, sure, why not? And then the, we also have other settings. Um, yeah, I'm going to turn that on because I really like that with signups. I really like that feature. Okay, so let's just close this and... I kind of want to check out the internal UI, so we're going to go into a different game, and let's check out the internal UI. Actually, I'll just load up Cat again, because we already have it here. Actually, no, I'll be back once I've found a different game.